Raised by Duncan, the man-at-arms, to be the best friend and trainer to Prince Adam and partner to He-Man, Tila is the secret daughter of the sorceress. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the modern posing retro play, Masters of the Universe, Tila, Heroic Warrior Goddess. So I never actually got uh, the original action figure of Tila. I had very few um, female action figures growing up. Uh, so this was a nice find at my local Walmart. As you can see here, you got the new for 20, same, uh, packaging as Man at Arms and Battle Cat. You got the modern posing retro play, Tila, Heroic Warrior Goddess. And it looks like we have the exact same comic that we got with Man at Arms. Now... I also got Evil Lynn, and she comes with this same comic as well. So I'm wondering if this is just the same, the comic that's produced for the entire Wave 1. Um, which is kind of a cop-out, but it is what it is. So anyway, on the back we got a nice image of Tila there. And as you'll notice, this is not the animated series uh, accurate Tila. This is the comic strip or comic book accurate Tila where she has the snake vest and the um, cowl type deal. Uh, there you see she comes with her snake staff and shield, her action feature. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. Masters of the Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action packed battle positions. And I have to say, I really like this artwork. Uh, it might be worth saving. I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, there's the packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at Tila. So anyway, here is Tila out of the package. And as you can see, I've got her comic that she came with right here. And here is the comic which came with Man at Arms. They're exactly the same. So, you can probably uh, keep one for your collection and, I don't know, cut pieces of the other one out, maybe frame them, whatever. Who knows? So, anyway, there's that. And now, the first thing I noticed when I took Tila out of the packaging is that her harness, her battle harness, does come off so you can po display her in her filmation accurate attire uh, and we'll get to that here in just a minute uh, but first i want to show you the weaponry she comes with she comes with her shield and her snake staff and we'll remove these and now to remove the harness you just unsnap the back here and there she is in her filmation accurate attire so anyway we'll go over articulation with everything off her head is on a slight ball joint it can turn side to side but the collar and her chin do kind of hinder the uh turning of her head her arms can rotate all the way around they can hinge up and down they do not have the butterfly joint uh, that I believe man at arms had but she does have an elbow joint and swivel with wrist hinge and swivel waist articulation now the package says that it's an action feature uh, where you can snap back 
there is no actual action feature. But the legs go out about that far and go up about there, back about that far. Bend at the knee and rotate around. There is also boot swivel, ankle hinge and rocker. And the accessories fit in her hands just like so. And just so that we don't lose it, we're going to go ahead and put her battle harness back on. And there you have Tila, the warrior goddess. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in next time when we take a look at Evil Lynn. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.